Hey guys, it's Ricky with Apple Valley Farm. I am back solving another rusty issue. You may remember that I posted a video about my scroll saw base being rusty because it sits out here in the carport, kind of open to all the elements and it gets a little oxidation on it. My bandsaw is the same way and so I'm gonna clean it the same way that I did my scroll saw. Uh, any, any tools that you have that have a base that's a cast iron or a steel base uh, versus aluminum, these things are going to oxidize once the humidity hits it. So, anyway, we're going to clean that today. Okay, as you can see, this base has gotten rusty, crusty, musty. It's nasty. We need to clean this because if we don't, then if we, we put a piece of wood on this, it's going to get that nasty gunk on there. We gotta get rid of this stuff. So how do we do that? Again, just like with the scroll saw, I'm gonna use some rust inhibitor. You can see I've got my rubber glove on to protect my hands. I've got some rust inhibitor. You can also use um, WD-40, anything like that, um, and some steel wool. I've just got a old piece of steel wool. I'm gonna spray this on there, scrub it with my steel wool, wipe it down with an old t-shirt and it's going to look good as new. All right, we're going to spray a little rust inhibitor on here. It can be liberal. It's okay if it gets around here and there. It's okay if it gets on the blade. It's all right. It's not going to hurt anything. All right, let that sit for a second. Then I'm going to take the steel wool and we're just going to kind of lightly but intentionally scrub on this. If you don't have a steel wool, a piece of steel wool, that's okay. You don't have to run to the store and get it. You can use a toothbrush. And you know, if you got an old toothbrush, don't use your your uh, your current toothbrush. That would be nasty. And now you can feel as you're doing this, you'll feel the steel wool begin to glide across this a little smoother as that rust comes up. And so any of your tools that have a steel or a cast iron piece on them like this, they're gonna be prone to rust. Okay, that looks good right there. Now just take an old cloth, this is an old t-shirt, and wipe that junk off of there. And look at that, it looks like new. It looks dadgum like new. I would even say, even if you don't have rust on it, there is absolutely nothing wrong with doing this on a regular basis. Okay, that is it. Patow! Hey guys, again, that is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes for this quick shop tip. I hope this helps you, and if you're like I am and your tools are kind of out exposed to the humidity and the weather, this is a great way to knock the rust off of them. But if not, this is also a great way, as I said, to just do some preventative maintenance with your tools. It's definitely not going to hurt them. Hey, thanks again for hanging out. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, especially if you're here on the YouTube channel, and tell your friends about it. And... I hope this helps you, and I hope you learned something. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. All right, take care.